these are the engineers that I made all all painted up and finished um, we'll go through them sort of not all at once just sort of one at a time uh, I've never seen the film Silent Running I've seen a little bit of it so these little fellas I painted up like Huey, Dewey and Louie from the film Silent Running with Bruce Stern again I haven't seen the film I've only seen a little bit of it and then my mum turned it over because she had control of the TV remote this would go on back like 20 years um, but they're made of parts you'll have seen or you may have seen in an earlier video where I just made them out of parts they're pretty much searchlights and um, just leftover Necron parts and leftover Imperial vehicle parts um, they're little robots and they <clears throat> I'm so sorry my voice is really weird today they are driven about by this fella and we know that because he's got like a computer in the front of his car with his little gas tanks and tools for fixing the robots and a backpack for his lunch so this is made out of um those right hang on i'll get a, i'll get a pointy thing and i'll and i'll point i don't have a pattern to plastic pokey hand but i do have a pencil okay so there we go that bit there that is off a mantic thing and i don't remember which it's it's uh the gcps um and enforcer strider thing which is like their version of a uh, somewhere between a dreadnought and a sentinel and they've got these like little pierced metal shield pad things so that's that the rest of it's just made of bases or door parts or you know lamps off tanks and this is a two gun carriages that were bisected and then glued together um and they were given a base as support but i didn't trim the base i left it as as a step so that the guy can get on uh so there he is he's sort of the the robotics engineer driving around with his stogie and uh and controlling huey dewey and louie or He can, if he wants, drive around in this thing. It's a bit faster. More of a skimmer type vehicle, again with a little computer for controlling them and a radio for talking to them and, you know, tools and a searchlight for when they go missing because they do so that's the skimmer and then there's the seismic and explosives and geological engineer which is this guy he's got the seismic charges and a faster car because you know you want to get away from a deployed seismic charge um, no stogie for this guy because he's on a car full of explosives got uh, his little turbo button to get him away from the explosives he's pretty much concerned with dropping the explosives where he thinks they should go and then getting off so he can observe the results nothing fancy on his vehicle just literally dump the, the charges and then go so that he can um you know analyze the results of his of his experimentation uh, you'll notice on both of the engineers they've both got sort of chubby chubby little bodies that's because they are made from Astra Militarum uh, vehicle crew and the heads are US infantry with um, with goggles and because the heads 
from Warlord Games are slightly smaller. War Warlord Games World War II range, I should say. They're slightly smaller scale than... Um, I've drawn on his head with pencil there. So they're slightly smaller scale than Games Workshop bodies, so it makes them look kind of chunky. And that's okay, because I figure, you know, engineers, if they're not looking after their robots or, or charting the land and looking after, you know, volcanoes and topography and stuff, they're just going to sit around and play video games and eat potato chips. Americanisms. Crisps, we call them. Um, so, what else? Oh yeah, so when he's not going around dropping his seismic charges and making a load of noise, he is flying around in this, which can either skim along, but it's not, not a skimmer like that one. So they're just landing skids really. It's mainly for um, for taking off and flying around. It's a like a, a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle that he uses for scouting um, new places to to study or to um, you know to consider for study. So those are those are the engineers that I made out of parts and um, and that's enough hobby for the minute I'm not going to be doing any hobby for a while um, so I figured I'd get these these fellas painted up and then make this video so that was it